hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed and its whole square root is equals to square root of 8 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we need to find uh, all the values of x so here for this first we need to remove this square root sign from both of the sides so in order to remove the square root sign uh, we need to take squaring on both of the sides and when we will take squaring it will be written as square root of x cubed and its whole square is equal to square root of 8 and its whole square and now you see that these two and this square root are gone these two and this square root are also gone and we will get here this is x cubed is equals to 8 so this equation will become uh, from radical to cubic form so here we can easily use the cubic formulas and we can get the values of x so here first we need to move this 8 from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x cubed minus 8 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we again rewrite this equation as x cubed minus we write this 8 as 2 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step here we need to use uh, the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cube minus b cube is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we need to substitute the values of a and b uh, on the right hand side of this formula so after substituting these values it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is 2 and this is a square the value of a is x square plus a b the value of a is x and b is 2 plus b square and b is 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as x minus 2 times of this is x square plus this is 2 times of x plus this 2 square becomes here 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 2x plus 4 is equals to 0 so from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 2 this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation and now here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 and c is equals to 4 so these are the three coefficients of the given equation and here we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here uh, in our here we need to substitute the values of a b and c and when we put all of these values it will becomes this is minus b the value of b is 2 and this is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we have this is minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 2 square and 2 square becomes 4 minus this will become here 4 multiplied by 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals 2 and here we need to focus inside the square root sign and we have this is 4 be the common term so here inside we get common 4 we take common 4 and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 square root and it is divided by 2 and in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus 2 plus minus 
Here we apply square root separately on both of these two values and we know about that square root of 4 becomes 2 into square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And here first we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as minus 2 over 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get here minus 1 plus minus. This 2 and this 2 are also gone and here we need to apply square root separately on both of these two values and it will become square root of 3 into square root of minus 1. So here we obtain the value of x is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into here we know that a square root of minus 1 is equals to iota. So this is the value of x. These are the two other two complex values of x and we have x is equals to 2 be the one real value of x. So these are the three roots of the given equation. And this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.